Sorazine. Okay, in recent years, this has been trendy as heck to talk about Peter Vinkman and the Thorazine and to sort of make it out that he was trying to slip her a roofie and he had some sort of nefarious plan all along. I have a problem with this and I'll tell you why. Not because it's out of character for him to be predatory. I mean, hello, he was making up that whole ESP test to try to get into a co-ed's pants. All right, clearly he's got some, you know, moral ambiguity happening there, but at the point in the movie that they talk about whacking her up with 300 cc's of Thorazine, he has just had her, possessed by Zul, offering herself to him and turned her down. And that is his character arc. That is his growth as a human being. Okay, yeah, I get it. Thorazine, and they, they focused on this one throwaway line that an actor ad-libbed, but if you look at the story and the scripted parts of the movie and the structure of it, he starts off as a guy who's preying on women and he has a chance with this one woman that he cares about to prey on her and he resists. He does not give in to the easy access. So to then turn it around and say the Thorazine line indicates something nefarious, I have a big problem with that. You can't have it after that, you know? It, you've missed the entire thrust and purpose of his character arc. You don't understand the story at all if all you can focus on is the word Thorazine. So that's my two cents on that.